Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make realms on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So this goes for all devices on Minecraft Bedrock. This is make a realm for your friends and family. And so make sure you sign it into a Microsoft account that you do have a Microsoft account because you're going to need one for this. And also, if you do know this on Nintendo Switch or like the Xbox One, there is a membership you have to pay to play online, which hopefully you already know that. So you have to do both. So once you go into getting into your realm and stuff, you should be able to see a pop up thing to see to create a realm or you can just go in and create a world. And from here, there's going to be an option to create this world on a realm server. And you get the choice to either use a realm if you already have one, or you can add a two player realm or a 10 player realm. Two player is a bit cheaper, $3.99 per month, which is actually the one i've been having up for quite a while for me and my girlfriend but anyways you can name the realm name whatever you want it to be named for example i'm just gonna say cool people realm just as an example <laughs> because anyone that plays the realm is cool and so as you can see you have a tier you can either be two players or ten players okay so that means it can be two players on the realm at a time so two other people can play you can add more members of course than two but only two can play at a time you know what i mean so you just agree to the terms and conditions and then create for 3.99 per month and that's a pretty easy way to do it and you can just set up the world and everything on here because it's basically the realm the realm and the world are the same now after creating the world i would highly suggest that you don't change the world to try to switch it out with another one because i accidentally deleted my world on my realm before so me and my girlfriend worked months on a realm and i accidentally deleted it my bad but so make sure you just try to keep it the same world i would just make everything you know permanent that's how i would do it because the more you have on one realm the better the realm's going to be overall but as you can see here you can to select to have mine or there's a realm celebration map and i don't know if you make a new world that replace the other one or not that's why i would be kind of careful with that just keep the world you already have i don't think there's anything wrong with it and you can change the game mode whether or not you're on creative or survival you can just change the game mode and make sure you have all those permissions and stuff so make a realm description and you can add members on this page right here in the editing the realm page which you can see i have a lot of friends which i can just invite any of them to my game it's basically giving them them an invitation or you know allowing them to be on the list to join my realm you can see the duration of how long the realm is going to be open and you can just make a description if you want to it's up to you honestly and i think you can make like news updates and stuff too to inform other people that are on your realm which is pretty neat i'd love to like have a realm with people and actually play with some players so if you guys are interested in like playing the survival realm with me or something that'd be pretty cool and it would be up to do that because that'd just really be cool if i could have like a team of people to play with on minecraft survival and have like an awesome base and everything that'd be amazing to do and make videos on but as you can see here i'm on my realm right now and and like i said you can just invite any people you want your friends and make sure you are friends with them otherwise they can't be added to the realm but hopefully you figure this stuff out if you have problems like there's something wrong with the age on your microsoft account not allowing you to use minecraft realms just try to fix it and fix your age and stuff on the microsoft website and try to get some help and support on the microsoft website i'll provide a link that hopefully should help you in the description below make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and smash the like button until next time goodbye